Today we are talking about how Palantir stacks up against its peers after its quarter one results. As we delve into the relative performance of Palantir and its peers, let's unpack the data from the recently concluded quarter one earnings season for data analytics companies. These firms operate in a landscape where organizations generate vast amounts of data, often stored in separate silos and incompatible formats. This fragmentation makes it both time consuming and expensive to extract meaningful insights, driving demand for advanced cloud-based data analysis platforms capable of efficiently processing such siloed data. To begin, it is important to note that the four data analytics stocks we monitor reported a lackluster quarter one performance. Revenues exceeded analyst consensus estimates by a modest 1% on average, but guidance for the next quarter's revenue fell short of consensus by 0.7%. Although valuation multiples for many growth stocks have yet to return to their early 2021 peaks, the market sentiment was positive at the end of 2023 due to cooling inflation. However, the start of 2024 has brought mixed signals and significant market volatility. Despite some data analytics stocks performing better than others, they collectively experienced a decline with share prices dropping by an average of 3.7% since the previous earnings reports. Let's start with Palantir Technologies. This company was founded by Peter Thiel in response to the struggles of United States defense agencies following the September 11th attacks. Palantir offers a software-as-a-service platform that assists government agencies and large enterprises in making better decisions using data. For quarter one, Palantir reported revenues of $634.3 million, representing a year-over-year -year increase of 20.8% and surpassing analysts' expectations by 2.7%. Despite a slower quarter marked by missing analysts' billings estimates, Palantir achieved the largest analyst estimates beat and fastest revenue growth among its peers. However, the stock has declined by 16.5% since the results and is currently trading at $21.04. This indicates a market reaction focused on the missed billings rather than the revenue growth. Now we will talk about Amplitude, which is a company born out of a failed voice recognition startup by founder Spencer Skates. Amplitude provides data analytics software designed to help companies improve and optimize their digital products. For quarter one, Amplitude reported revenues of $72.62 million, reflecting a year-over-year -year growth of 9.2%, aligning with analysts' expectations. It was a strong quarter for the company, marked by a significant beat of analysts' billings estimates and the highest full-year guidance increase among its peers. Amplitude's ability to add 247 customers, bringing the total to 2,970 demonstrates its robust market demand. The stock has risen by 5.6% since the results and is currently trading at $9.80. This growth highlights investor confidence in Amplitude's forward-looking strategies. Next, we turn our attention to Health Catalyst. Founded in 2008 by healthcare professionals Tom Burton and Steve Barlow, Health Catalyst provides data and analytics technology to healthcare organizations, enabling them to improve care and reduce costs. For quarter one, Health Catalyst reported revenues of $74.72 million, marking a slight year-over-year -year increase of 1.2%, but falling short of analysts' expectations by 0.1%. It was a weaker quarter for the company, with disappointing revenue guidance for the next quarter and full-year revenue projections missing analysts' expectations. Health Catalyst delivered the weakest performance against analyst estimates and the most unfavorable full-year guidance update in the group. Consequently, the stock has declined by 2.4% since the results and is currently trading at $6.51, reflecting investor concerns over its growth prospects. Lastly, we examine Domo, founded by Josh James after he sold his previous business Omniture to Adobe. Domo offers business intelligence software that enables managers to access and visualize critical business metrics in real time via their smartphones. For quarter one, Domo reported revenues of $80.1 million unchanged year over year, aligning with analysts' expectations. The company experienced a weak quarter, with underwhelming revenue guidance for the next quarter and missing analysts' billings estimates. Domo recorded the slowest revenue growth among its peers. The stock has fallen by 1.4% since the results and is currently trading at $7.04, indicating investor skepticism about the company's growth trajectory. In summary, the quarter one performance for data analytics companies was generally underwhelming. Palantir led in revenue growth and beat analyst estimates, but saw a significant drop in stock price due to missed billings. Amplitude demonstrated strong customer growth and raised 
its full-year guidance, boosting its stock. Health Catalyst and Domo struggled with weak revenue guidance and minimal growth, resulting in declining stock prices for both. Overall, market volatility and mixed economic signals have significantly impacted these companies' performances and stock valuations, painting a complex picture for the data analytics sector moving forward. With that being said, I wish you the best of luck, happy investing, and I will see you in the next video.